Hey folks, you hear that scary music? Are you scared yet? Get ready, cause it's about to get even scarier out here as we delve back into the world of evil. Is it a, is it an outside evil? Is it an evil that's just visiting? Is it an evil that is not here to stay? No, it is indeed. It's the resident evil. It is the evil that has come to stay with you for too long. You thought they were only staying for a couple of days, but then all of a sudden maybe their flight got canceled and now they just live here. Now the evil's here. Uh, and it's the second time. It's the second time. So it's, it's a, you know, the first time was like, it was kind of cool. It helped out with the kids a little bit, but then it got weird. Then they kind of just started like making demands. When's dinner gonna, like, you know, you promised you'd have dinner here. You're, you're just kind of the resident evil. You don't actually live here. And then, uh, then the second time it happened, it seemed like maybe they did it on purpose. Maybe, maybe this wasn't an accident. Maybe the resident evil. Ascension. It knows, but we won't know uh, until we find out and discover what uh, what's going on in the mind of uh, Leon S. Kennedy, rookie cop, and Jill Claire Redfield, the sister of Chris Redfield, stars. Cop. Jill was in Resident Evil 1. And so was Barry. So was Wesker. So was Richard. Richard got bitten by a zombie and then lays in a room with Jill for a while. If you save him, that happens. And there's a giant snake in Resident Evil. It's really dumb. Anyway, here we go. Hello, it's Wednesday, or otherwise known in the office as Popcorn Day. It's a little blown out. It's hard to see, and I ate most of them. I brought this out here, but I can't really eat it on mic, so it's really just a tease. It's been your teeth the entire stream. Uh-huh. It's bold. It's risky. Look, I like popcorn as much as the I like next living fella, on the edge. Yeah, okay. Well, I get shit in my teeth, and it doesn't feel good. I also brought a seltzer, and I kind of wish I got something less bubbly. I, I got into seltzer over the summer, and I'm glad for it. Um... But also, it makes you burp. It yeah. does. It's good though, especially the water. It's not uh, not bad for you. In fact, it's good for you, like water generally. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is a lot like water mm -hmm. in that regard. Yeah. It was explained to me that that is basically nutritionally exactly the same as water. Right? Yes, more or less. Okay. It's just I got a slight flavor to it. The flavoring, it's it's so small. I think the like caloric intake is so small. It's basically nothing. Okay. Is my understanding of it? But you get all the benefits of like because you're supposed to drink so much water every day. Yeah. Like you are that like, counts this towards is that the can of water. Perfect. Yeah, which is why I got into it, because I want to drink less soda, and I do drink less soda now, and I actually lost weight from it, which was, like, weird. Mm. I was like, oh, I was drinking way too much soda. soda. I still drink soda. soda. I, I think for me, I tried going cold turkey on soda a bunch of times, and it never worked. So now it's just like, I'll have a seltzer with my soda, and now I'll drink maybe half a soda. Ah, uh, yes, works. that old uh, time-honored tradition, seltzer and soda. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. That's how, I like cutting my soda with some seltzer. Mm -hmm. Seltzer's good for mixing with vodka. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would much, I, I feel like I don't like seltzer and... Liquor, I like soda and liquor. Like That's I love also good. whiskey gingers. I like uh, vodka diets and whiskey diets mm -hmm. a lot. But if I'm just like you know, like the last couple of nights, it's uh, I'm playing like Apex Legends pretty late. I want to get a drink or two. I don't want uh, caffeine in me, oh, so I get sure. a little seltzer and a little vodka there. Yeah, it's great. I don't ever drink at home. Yeah, I rarely do unless I'm playing online. Weird. I also don't play. I the only time I drunk played games, I got I bought Soma and Goat Simulator. And that was the only time I ever have played games drunk. Yeah, that's a lie. Really? That's is, a lie. We have recorded footage. <laughs> of, okay, this is true. But of, I feel like most that's me watching other people play games. Uh huh. You've seen National Treasure drunk. Yes, that I have. And Movies also, those were like maybe yes. buzz. I mean, sometimes okay. they were drunk. But like, this was like, I got home from the bar and I was like, let's whip up the PlayStation and get <laughs> Soma. <laughs> that's been a good. That's <laughs> what so most people do drunk. <laughs> The worst of us, really. <laughs> In college, I spent probably five years playing games for review, pretty much exclusively drunk. Dang. Not every night, but like a good amount. You come back from the bars at two in the morning, you got to review a fucking uh, fifth game in a series or something that you don't care about. And it's like, that oh, explains I'll just drink why we wound six. up playing that uh, fucking Mario Sunshine feature, isn't it? 
This game great. I remember this game being great. You know what? I was I in the dorms. This game. I was in the dorms when I played that, <laughs> uh, and I was game. probably drunk for a lot of that. Seventy-five stars. That's what I give this game. It's so good. He's got a jetpack. That was before I was He's reviewing. I just knew it's that was adorable. a masterpiece when I played it. Uh huh. God still is. Holds up. Uh, how y'all feeling? I feel good. Good. Uh, hey, people that are in the chat right now, I'm gonna go with this audio setting. I think I like it. Is what I think. This is good Resident Evil audio. Let's see if the Resident Evil sound. Oh yeah. Scary. Spooky. Spooky. Oh, look at Alex. Alex lights down. Spooky. Bring the lights down. I can't do that God, from here. I can, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. No, it's not worth it. I like having uh, almost flattering lights instead. Um. Yeah. I think I think we can go with that. Oh, all right. right. I always look at the lights. Look at the lights. Don't. I always do that when we're talking about the lights, and then I just no sucks for like five minutes. Do you just look at every single thing someone mentions to you? <laughs> what are you talking about? It helps to look at the thing you're talking about. Not always. Should we talk about Alex's butt and see where you look? No. If we're talking about Resident Evil, we're looking at Resident Evil, right? It's basic human logic. Yeah, but you're supposed to look at a TV. That's what they're designed for. You with lights. <laughs> well, I guess you're supposed to enjoy the benefits of lights uh, without looking directly at them. Seeing the zoom did. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, like.